Hello girlies, it's Mary. So since my last video comparing two gels was so popular, I decided to do it all over again. So this time I'm going to be comparing the new Eco Styler Black Caster and Flaxseed Gel with Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. I thought that both of these gels would be good to compare since they both contain flaxseed oil so stay tuned to hear my verdict for how they performed on my natural hair. So to begin with my hair was in an old twist out that had gotten very very dry and was in need of some moisture. So I parted my hair down the middle and as before I am going to be using one gel on the left hand side of the screen and another gel on the right hand side of the screen. So I started off each small section by just adding water to it as you can see in this clip and then I added some of the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle to my hair. Now I just use this as a base because when I tend to use this it gives my hair um, some definition but also adds a good amount of moisture to my hair. And I always like to add a base to my hair before I begin adding gel. Now I really do love the Curling Gel Souffle by Shea Moisture for the definition that it gives but if you use too much it can get very very sticky so I only use a small amount on each section. So with the left hand side of my head I started off with the Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel. Now the Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Oil are number four and five on the list of ingredients and if you need some more details on the gel I will leave a link in the top right of the video for you to go and watch that video to hear a little bit more about this gel but as you can see it's a fairly thick gel it is definitely thicker than the other eco styler gels um, that have preceded it for me personally the thickness of the gel is actually a plus um, it's not so thick that it's hard to get through your hair in fact it's quite easy to get through your hair but I feel like the thickness of it actually creates a lot of slip and so it's really easy just to rake it through your hair and to be completely honest when my hair was wet it actually helped me to detangle my hair slightly which is actually a really nice sensation <laughs> I know it sounds a bit weird but yes so I just continue to repeat the process, I just decide there's a part with my fingers, whenever I do this kind of style I tend to avoid uh, doing it with a comb, I actually find my fingers, hands a lot easier to work with um, and I just go row by row and basically add the curling gel souffle, uh, detangle my hair a little because my hair hadn't been detangled before, beforehand and um, then I just added the gel and to be honest it was quite quick and I found it a pretty easy job. And this is what it looked like when I had completed the whole of that side of my hair. Very, very defined and I was really, really happy with the results. And the difference between my dry hair and my moisturised hair is literally night and day. So moving on to the other side of my hair, I used Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. This has a lot more ingredients in it. Um, the sixth ingredient is the flaxseed oil and it also contains hydrolyzed wheat protein which was also present in the Eco Gel. The consistency of this gel is a lot more lightweight than the Eco Gel. Um, it feels lighter and thinner in between my fingers. I love this smell as you can tell, I every time I smell this gel I'm just, I fall in love, I literally love the smell of this gel. Now due to the difference in consistency um, with this product I found that actually it was a little bit harder to put through my hair. Overall it's a gel so it goes on fairly easily um, but I felt like especially towards the ends of my hair. Um, I felt like I had to work a little harder just to make sure that my hair was detangled and to make sure that it just kind of went through my hair um, a lot more easily especially at the ends whereas with the Eco Styler Gel I just found that process a lot easier. 
so in these clips if you see me taking just a little bit more time over the ends of my hair then that's the reason why and before I continue with the rest of the tutorial this is just a quick request to please thumbs up this video if you are enjoying it so far and you can also click the icon on the screen with my face on it if you'd like to subscribe for more videos like this one and these are the results for the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed elongating curling gel so when my hair had dried completely these were my results so I'm pointing to the eco styler side here and the other side is the Aunt Jackie's elongating curling gel side there was a distinct difference in length between the two sides I found that both sides of my hair had the same amount of shine and essentially they appeared to be the same apart from that the eco gel side had a lot more shrinkage and true to its name the elongating curling gel side had elongated my curls now this is slightly less apparent from the back but I could definitely tell that on the side and at the front the length was a lot more elongated on the Aunt Jackie side so it appears that this is not just an advertising gimmick it really does elongate your curls now in terms of feeling both sides of my hair were slightly crunchy which I actually expect to be honest from using gel in my hair um, but there wasn't a difference in crunch between both sides both sides felt about the same to me so what is my verdict well I think that for elongation Aunt Jackie's wins hands down I did not expect it to perform so well on that score but it did however just for ease of putting it in my hair the eco styler black cast and flaxseed gel does the job really really well now if you've been watching me for a while you'll know that I don't often try to define my curls very much I do it a couple of times a year but not very often but as my hair's getting longer I'm actually loving the more defined look a lot more so you can expect to find a lot more um, videos like this on my channel especially comparing gels if you have any suggestions of gels or products that you would like me to compare then you can leave them in the comments box below and I will try to get those out for you as soon as possible if you enjoyed this video then please give me a thumbs up below and share it with someone else who you think may like it too until next time wishing you health happiness and beautiful hair i'll see you on the next one take care bye